Away from that, the Defense Minister Dominic Nito says all materials seized and destroyed during the Operation Halt uh, have been declared by the task force. At a media briefing here in Accra, he noted a total of 592 assorted items, which does not include gold, have been declared. The fourth phase of Operation Halt was undertaken between May 27 and 29. A total of 592 assorted items were destroyed, while five persons, including three Chinese nationals, were arrested. So the excavators, 24, Shanghai machines, one, 341, pumping machines, 123, wooden structures, 30, OMB, 10, Genesis, 6, grinding, grinding machines, 4, motorbikes, 6, water hose, 14, barrels of fuel, 30, ropes, so many, welding and dredging, 4. Defense Minister Dominic Nitiwal said no gold was discovered or seized, adding the soldiers do not target particular individuals or companies during the operations. No single individual is targeted and nobody has been left off the hook. The places that the armed forces have operated, not a single company, a single machine, or a single equipment that is used for mining and is violating the law has been left off the hook. Not one. The armed forces have not seized any gold. If they seize any gold, they will declare it. It's not possible for 420 officers and men to hide anything they have seized. It's simply not possible. Minister of Information Kojo Aponkruma argued that burning of the excavators is not an illegality as suggested by some sections of the public. Prior to now, you've heard some persons, sometimes lawyers, etc., make the argument that it is illegal to destroy uh, the excavators as found on the water bodies or around the water bodies. If you are involved in illegality, you cannot come back to say that you have some accrued rights therein and therefore um, uh, some damages are, are, are owed you. We are very clear in our minds on the legal briefs that we have that there's no illegality in what the soldiers are doing. Prosecution is underway in different courts. Uh, some of them have been moved to Accra. And as we go along, we'll do our very best to update you on the prosecution and hopefully the conviction of some of these persons uh, for the crimes that uh, they have committed. The Operation Halt has so far covered rivers Pra and Brim and their tributaries, as well as Ankobra River and its tributaries.